around is an important part of life, but getting around in style is one of those little things that makes life worth living. And while most places in the world, cars, trucks, motorcycles are the primary means of getting around, some places are lucky enough to get around in this stylish contraption. The auto rickshaw, aka tuk-tuk, three-wheeler, samosa, attempt, tri-shaw, auto rick, bajaj, fatafati, or Indian helicopter. You may be thinking, me. Auto rickshaws aren't that special, but I beg to differ. So here are 10 fun facts about auto rickshaws that I think proves the Indian helicopter be styling. Number one, personal drivers. Cabs are expensive, having a driver is even more expensive, and parking in a city like Delhi can not only prove to be somewhat expensive, but infuriating. In a big metropolis like Delhi, there are an estimated 100,000 autos roaming the street. So at any given moment, depending on the time of the day, an auto rickshaw is yours for the taking, and it won't cost you an arm or a leg. Number two, autos are multi-purpose vehicles. On the metro, it's often hard to find a seat. In an auto, you're not only guaranteed a seat, but if you take it solo, you're guaranteed up to two meters of space in some sort of cubic fashion. Making your commute, short though it may be, time in your own mini uncrowded on-the-go office space with a few bumps here and there. And autos usually come with 146cc or 199cc engine standard, which may not get you from zero to 60 feet very quickly. But because the engine is located behind your back, it's like taking a ride in a massage chair. Soothing-ish lower back massage with your own portable office space and room for three in a city of 20 million people? Yes, please. Number three, to go where no four-wheeler has gone before. One of the other advantages of the normal four-seater auto is its size. Unlike the larger shared autos, and of course all the cars on the road, autos can fill in the gaps and sneak into queues in ways that larger vehicles just cannot. The best time to use an auto is over medium distances and heavy but flowing traffic. Jams stop just about everyone equally, and open roads are far easier for cars that have the higher top speed. But in bustling, flowing traffic, Autos with their small size and surprising turn radius can get you where you need to go in a hurry. Number four, a colorful history. The autos of South Asia are based on the Daihatsu midget. Yeah, apparently Daihatsu didn't get the politically correct lingo memo in 1957 when they came up with that one. But since then, various companies have come up with their own production lines, chief among them Bajaj. And the different manufacturers produce their autos color-coded depending upon the city of the auto service. In Delhi and Kolkata, green and yellow, Mumbai and Pune, black and yellow, and Chennai, yellow with a dash of black. But that doesn't stop the plucky auto from getting a makeover, which just about every auto wallet ends up doing, making the autos even more colorful and giving the institutional color schemes a bit of flair. Which brings us to our next fun fact. Number five, auto decoration. Everyone loves decorating their autos. From the addition of religious icons or images to favorite movie stars or heroes to custom paint jobs. Every auto has a special something. Here are a few we found in Delhi. Batman teams up with Yo-Yo Honey Sing? What? Or how about this auto totally made by my namesake? Totally. That's, that's original. Complete with the 305 cubic nanometer engine. And thanks to the internet, primarily Reddit, the best of auto decor can be found from all around India. Here are some of my favorites. How about this auto all gussied up to celebrate Independence Day? Or this one honoring the South Indian megastar Rajni Khan? But customization doesn't stop with color, because auto walls, like gearheads all around the world, like modifications. And auto rickshaws in India have seen some pretty fun modifications over the years. Number six, auto modifications. Melissa and Rachel even stumbled on a bought one that had a black light installed and a kick and sound system. But such simple modifications are just the tip of the iceberg. How about this one? An auto that is actually an Indian helicopter. Yeah, so definitely not a homemade modification, but still pretty cool. This guy finding a creative way to introduce some more airflow into his auto. And there's a guy in Chennai who actually boasts Wi-Fi in his auto. And these days, it's not just Indians who are experimenting with auto modifications. This crazy YouTuber, Colin Furtz, took a 600cc motorcycle engine, put it into an auto, and made a series of beastly modifications, including adding weaponry. It's 2015. I'm convinced anything can happen when I watch that guy's channel. There's another special stylish way in which auto wallas decorate their autos, and some could consider this as a subsection of auto decoration, but I think it deserves a category all its own, and that is number seven, 
words of auto rickshaw wisdom. Some of them don't quite make sense, being that they're in a second or third language. I mean, let's be honest, if I were writing stuff in Hindi, it would be hilarious trying to get me to write like clever witty saying. But even still, what is trying to be said is often pretty fun. This one, in case you can't figure it out, is trying to say, I believe, I'll say it in the movie trailer voice, <clears throat> believe a poisonous snake, but don't believe a charming girl. Actually, this would make for a pretty good David Caruso one liner. I don't have a red wig, it's not. It's like Paul Nano doing David Caruso. Belve a posen sanak. Boute. Not a Belve. Chow main girlies. But then you get witty gems like this one. I couldn't afford the Volkswagen. Thus, Otto. Though it's a good pun on Volkswagen's motto. It's most likely Photoshop. So Manish is here to redeem your faith in humanity with his pledge to serve. The following has a few cuss words, and this is a family-friendly show and channel, but it's just too awesome to leave out, so if you're not offended by cuss words, please bear with my censorship. And I'm gonna read this in my Heisenberg. <clears throat> my name is Suhail Skyler. My auto can F all the roads. Possessive. My auto can F Silent is my attitude. Spelling. Who's this next? Don't follow me. My way is very, very danger. Road is my play playground. I don't really know if it is possible to be more awesome than that guy, grammatical errors included, because he's got a philosophy of his profession and he's sticking to it. And last but certainly not least, H. Ronald Reagan and H. Emmanuel. Clinton. I actually have a question for this one. What does the H stand for? Is it just stand for his first name or does it mean honorable or is that the dude's name? Ronald Reagan? And Emmanuel Clinton? Seriously, just very curious. Moving on. Number eight. Autos invite competitive drive. Autos with all their folksy exotic charm and maverick simplicity have gotten a lot of attention from the competitors among us all around the world. From auto races in Mumbai to globally organized marathons across India in the form of the Rickshaw Run or the Rickshaw Challenge. These marathon challenges seem like a lot of fun and big YouTubers like Jack Scapp have made phenomenal videos chronicling their experience traveling the width of India. If you ever get a wild hair and want to experience India in a unique way, one of these auto adventures could be just the ticket. Number nine going green. These days we need to find creative ways to use less fuel, and autos are doing the same with newer, cleaner, compressed natural gas models, the emergence of electric autos, and even rumblings of some hydrogen-powered autos. And when it comes to fuel efficiency, autos are already doing a pretty good job. Newer models putting up numbers like 60 miles to the gallon, better than most cars and even some bikes. But pretend it's showbiz! Various Indian film industries have turned their attentions to autos over the years, mostly in the South focusing on auto laws. The following soundtrack you could pretty much just about take over the world. Autos for everyone! How about Rajnikanth starring as a retired man of action working as an autowalla in Basha? Or Nazaruddin Shah playing an autowalla in Hero Hero Law? Which has one of the funniest opening scenes in Bollywood history. Nazaruddin road surfs, you guys. I don't know if he used a stunt double for that or not, but whoever did that was awesome. Road surfing. So that's my 10 fun facts about auto rickshaws in India. If you have an Indian themed top 10 you'd like to see, please let us know in the comments below. Next month, American Indian is finally diving into cricket. I know it's been so long, people have been asking so much or something like this. So next month's top 10 will be cricket themed. If you have some specific ideas for what we should focus on to do with cricket, let us know below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show and would like to see it in its narrative entirety a month before everyone else, please consider clicking over here to support us on Patreon. We promise monthly shows about our family's cross-cultural adventures from America to India and beyond. Next month, it's all about cricket, so we finally dive into the world of cricket and get on the pitch and get a sticky wicket or something. I'm still learning the jargon. But in the meantime, if you can't support the show, please do share this video in any way that you can. Like, comment, and subscribe. And check out our Shake It Off parody video up here. If you're our Patreon supporter, check your Patreon feed because you get the song for free. Until next time, keep it creative. Keep it cross-cultural. And keep it constructive, YouTube. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much.